I've heard a lot of different variations of my name. I, I think the most memorable is uh, somebody once called and asked for um, Mr. Manhattan, which I thought was great. So I thought <laughs> that was back when I was in junior high or high school. So I actually thought about uh, that being a wonderful stage name. My name is Rutresh Mahantapa. I'm an alto saxophonist and composer, and I am here in New York City. I'm really excited to be at Newport again this year. Um, this time I'm bringing um, an electroacoustic band called Samdi. Samdi is actually the result of my Guggenheim Fellowship to further examine some both melodic and rhythmic aspects of South Indian music and integrate them into a situation that wasn't traditionally oriented towards those art forms. So what I'm presenting is actually a very electric band. It's um, electric bass, electric guitar, drums, and myself not only playing saxophone but working with some effects and some laptop programming. In a lot of ways, Samdi is the, um, it's, it's kind of the jazz rock fusion band that I've always wanted to have um, since I was in high school. And it's really interesting to kind of come back to those sounds. I think the most influential person for me was my very first saxophone teacher. His name is Mark Harris. I started studying with him probably when I was in fourth grade and, and stayed with him until I left for college. Every time he came over for a lesson, he would bring two or three LPs to loan me for the week. And it might be Sonny Stitt and Ornette Coleman and Yes. We never talked about labels. We never talked about these, these ideologies, these musical missions being separate. We, we talked about them as being, you know, one big gooey ball or something. There, there's an outdoor pedestrian shopping mall in, in Boulder. And I had a band that would go out there and play Friday, Saturday nights. Probably the first incarnation of that jazz rock fusion band I always wanted to have. That was the closest thing that felt like a real gig to me when I was 18. And we actually had a sort of following and it was a great summer job, really. And I remember coming home quite late. Uh, it was probably, you know, one in the morning and I was flipping through the channels because I wasn't ready to go to bed yet. And the highlights of Newport were on. And Michael Brecker had a band, and it was a band with him and Mike Stern, Jeff Andrews, Adam Nussbaum, and Joey Calderazzo. And there was just one tune, it, it was actually my favorite on the album called Original Rays, and Michael just, just killed it. I mean, he played this amazing solo introduction on Iwi, and then he grabbed his tenor and, and played magnificently. And I, I think I held a tape recorder up to the TV the next time it came on and I, I have that on cassette. There's a particular association, not only with the great playing, but with that moment in time for me and just how inspiring that, that was. I, I remember everything about that moment. You know, jazz has uh, absorbed a lot of information over the years and, and taken on many different shapes and forms and integrated a lot of uh, different cultures and um, ethnicities and, and express those uniquely. And I think over the past few years, I, I feel like there's a wonderful balance at Newport between um, the traditional elements of jazz and, and uh, what people traditionally associate with the word jazz, as well as these, these new voices that are coming from, you know, a lot of myriad influences that, that reach beyond this particular genre. For us, it's a great personal validation to feel like we have a significant contribution in playing what is one of the most important jazz festivals in the world and then and feel like we're in this larger continuum of what jazz is and what jazz is going to continue to be. You know, someone who I admire a lot is, is John Hollenbeck. I think he's, he's just prolific. You know, I look at everything that he's doing and I actually wonder when he sleeps. You know, like, you know, I look at... I, sometimes I go by John's website and I say, well, I want to be like that when I grow up, you know? <laughs> Hi, this is alto saxophonist and composer Rudresh Mahantapa, and I'm really excited to see all of you at Newport in August of 2012. This is a project w which I'm really proud of, and um, I'm really excited to bring it to Newport.